What's up with y'all family? Hey, yo, check this out. I know my eyes is not deceiving me, but this article says Minnesota Art Museum holds family friendly demon summoning. Like I said before, I know my eyes is not deceiving me. Literally, I live in Minnesota and I didn't even know that this just recently happened. Shout out to my sis Marley. If it wasn't for my sis, hit me up on my Instagram DMs. I wouldn't have known that this even happened. But she said as soon as she seen it, she felt led by the Lord to send it over to me so that I can share this with thousands upon thousands of my people here on my platform. So shout out to the sis. Hey, y'all, I'm going to need y'all to really check out this article. I'm going to put the link in the comments and in the descriptions. And y'all, just for y'all to get a little preview, look at the nonsense they talking about in this article. And you guys tell me if you guys think this is playful or family friendly. It says the event, which was hosted by artist Tamar Eden, was broken into two parts. First, visitors worked with Eden to design a vessel for the demon that knows them best. With some examples, including the demon of overthinking or the demon of not trusting your gut, the museum website explains. But hold on, y'all. This is where it gets a little weirder. After constructing their vessels, guests were invited to watch Eden perform a summoning ritual for a spirit named Lilith, the empathetic demon, or what we call Lilith. And then it proceeds to say Lilith, which is Lilith, will come from the dark side of the moon to lead you in locating your feelings using ancient Babylonian techniques, the website said. And if anybody has ever read the Bible and if anybody knows about ancient Babylon, they we would know that they worshiped the false gods. And these were the same people that tried to create the Tower of Babel and God knocked it down. And that's when, you know, multiple languages came about. Y'all, I want y'all to take a look at the spirit named Lilith. She looks familiar, don't she? Well, that's because she has been seen in a video game. This is literally Lilith from the game Diablo 4. I bet y'all didn't even know this too. Check this out. Diablo is literally Spanish for devil. And I know y'all remember when New York was all orange looking, right? Like a few months ago. And when they were promoting the game, literally on a billboard in New York, while all this was happening, it said Diablo 4, welcome to hell, New York. And they have Lilith on the right side of the billboard. I know you guys see that numerology as well. Six, six. And what's two times three? Six. So literally it's six, six, six as the date of the game coming out. And before a lot of you guys come and saying like, oh, these conspiracy theories is conspiracy theories. I actually just use this time to actually think and use your common sense and literally see the stuff for what it really is. See the symbolism, see the imagery for what it truly is. Not everything is a quote unquote conspiracy theory. Now, let's get back into this article. I actually want to show you all one more thing. And this is actually was said on the museum's website as advertisement. And they said, demons have a bad reputation, but maybe we're just not very good at getting to know them. An advertisement on the museum's website read. And I have a few questions. Number one, why are we getting to know our demons and not getting to know Christ? And number two, what is so playful and what is so family friendly about summoning demons? There were even people even sharing the article on Facebook talking about if you read it, that's not what they were talking about. Like literally, bro, all you have to do is read the article and all you have to do is have the eyes to see. And you can clearly see that they meant what they meant. This is exactly why God said in Hosea 4, 6 that his people perish for a lack of knowledge. Because people literally look at everything as a conspiracy theory. People literally look at everything as something being fake when literally the devil is out and open and he is not caring anymore. And the reason why he's not caring no more is because, number one, he knows his time is up. Number two, he knows that many of you guys will fall for it and keep using the same excuses that you guys always use to normalize this stuff. And also, number three, we're getting more near and nearer to Jesus Christ's 
second coming. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all don't realize how much righteous anger I had earlier, you know, reading this article. But yet at the same time, I'm not very surprised. It says in 2 Corinthians 11, 14, that the devil himself masquerades as an angel of light. So, of course, they're going to put on a title, family friendly demon summoning, because I guarantee you if they just put demon summoning in the title, a lot of you guys would have flipped out. But since the devil is so strategic, he's going to put, oh, playful demon summoning. Oh, family friendly demon summoning. And a lot of you guys are going to eat it up because you lack knowledge. Y'all have to realize that the devil is coming to steal, kill, and destroy and send as many people to hell as he can in this hour. The more as time goes on, the more the devil is going to show you his existence. The more he's going to show you guys that he was real all along. And I swear I love this quote so much. And this quote is that the devil's biggest trick, you know, on this earth was convincing you guys that he was never real. And if he could convince you guys and desensitize you guys to this stuff, even the stuff they're putting in these music videos, all this kind of stuff, the movies, everything, then you will th think that it's not real. You would think that, you know, everything's for play for play. You would think all this stuff is just art when it's literally not art. It's literally rituals. Even in the article, it literally said that the demon summoning ceremony was held on Saturday. Like, guys, it's blatantly in your faces. And a lot of you guys choose to eat it up. A lot of you guys choose to laugh and think it's a game when it's literally not a game. They're after your children. The devil literally goes after children because they are the purest form that is out here on this earth. And they're very precious to God. And for a lot of you parents that took your children to a ritual, I just hope you know that if you don't repent, their blood will be on your hands in the day of judgment. And you will have to answer for every single thing that you did to cause your children to slip into the hands of Satan. You guys will have to account for allowing your children to be led into this mess. Jesus even said this in Matthew 18, 6. And he said that if anyone causes these little ones of mine to sin or to stumble, it'll be better for a millstone to be hung around their neck and to be, you know, dragged into the deepest depths of the sea like that's serious y'all we just have to pray during these times man there's so many people under a reprobated mind there are so many people that are lost and stuff like this don't even surprise me anymore it's just it's just ridiculous pray over your children pray over your families and stay away from places like this this is called the walker theater in minneapolis minnesota the devil ain't high no more. The devil is bold. So now is the time that the children of God need to be more bolder in spirit and in truth. Wake up, y'all, because it's war. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities. We wrestle against the rulers of darkness in high places. Take heed to this message and stop supporting places like this. I hope many of you guys are listening. God bless.